I'm Jessica. And I'm Josiah. And this is J Dub Travels, Travels with Mommy and me. first welcome you to our brand new channel this is our first official video we are so excited I think maybe people may think like why would you start a travel blog in the midst of a global pandemic and that is a good question and the answer to that question is that we love to travel and all we have been talking about since we've been locked down is traveling again yeah we cannot wait to be able to go back out and explore the world. So, a little bit about J Dub Travels. J Dub Travels, uh, J Dub, J Double, Jessica Josiah. Um, we are just want to be able to document and vlog all of our traveling experiences. So we what we mainly love to do as far as traveling is cruising. Cruising. We love cruising and I used to think that it was kind of weird because I used to think that cruises were for older people I'll say but I have absolutely fallen in love with it and I have now shared that love with my son and we cannot wait to get back out and start cruising again. Um, a little bit about our traveling history as far as cruises, I started cruising in 2016. Um, I had some cousins who were having a birthday cruise and I was not a part of the planning. It just was, came up and they were like, hey, such and such birthday is coming up. We're going to do a cruise for it. And I was like, sure, let's go. Um, because like a lot of my family was going. I knew I was leaving out of Baltimore, which is where I'm from. Go Ravens. Um, we pulled up to the boat. I could not believe the size of the pride and the carnival pride and I had so much fun on that vacation. I didn't do any cruising. 2018, we did a Thanksgiving Day cruise. Um, so this was basically my first Thanksgiving away from my son. I left him home. <laughs> and I left out of Baltimore again on the Carnival Pride. And that was me, um, three of my best friends. We grew up together. And our mothers. And we went on a seven-day Caribbean cruise. We were scheduled to go to Nassau, Freeport, and I think another location. But when we got on the boat, they made an announcement saying something was wrong with their thrusters on the boat. And that we could only go to one stop. And that one stop was Freeport. So we had a lot of sea days. A lot of sea days. And I actually didn't have a problem with it. I enjoyed it. Uh, but because of that, they gave us an onboard credit for that cruise. Plus gave us a 100% credit of what we paid for that cruise towards another cruise. November of 2018 
and then we booked again for June 2019. This time I wanted to cruise out of Florida someplace. So we cruised on the Carnival Miracle out of Tampa. And this one, we went to Cozumel, we went to Mahogany Bay, um, and Port Tamaya. I think I'm saying that all right. Um, but I had so much fun. It was, it was so fun. We did this one excursion where we did cave tubing. We rode ATVs and zip line through the jungles of Honduras. And it was great. And I think, honestly, it was then that I actually fell in love with cruising. I enjoyed it before, but it was that cruise, the June of 2019 cruise, that I was like, I love this and I need to share this with my son. I was finishing up grad school so I just graduated with my master's in management yay and I was thinking like should I have a party then I think I should have had a party or what should I do and then I was like spend all this money you know one two three thousand dollars on a party it'd be for a couple hours and it'd be over and I was like maybe I should go on vacation right yeah so I decided that I want to go on vacation and I want to take my son with me because this grad school journey, it was long and I ha had to sacrifice some time spending with my son to get schoolwork done. And not to mention 2019, I turned 30 in December. So I was like, I'm celebrating my 30th birthday and I'm graduating. We're going on this trip. I looked online and I was able to get a cruise for three people in a balcony state room for under $1,500. I was like booking it, boom. So I graduated Saturday, December 14th, and we left for our cruise, my birthday slash graduation slash Josiah's first cruise on Sunday, December 15th. Josiah fell in love. I did, I really did. I loved it. I was just like, Wow. When I like when I was actually on the boat, I was like amazed about how big it was. So Mr. Josiah here became the superstar of our December 15th cruise. We went to the Fun Aboard Fun Ashore show. And our cruise director was the great Reverend Dr. Everson Bevel and um, he asked for a junior cruiser and he went up there and Josiah had to do his fake laugh. Do you have a fake laugh, Josiah? <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good one. We're gonna, we're gonna add the shoulders in it. Shoulders. Ah, 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 ah. Let's try it. <laughs> and then um, because it was a, a Christmas cruise, we cruised the week before Christmas. Um, the Grinch was there, so the Grinch would come out, right? And I would be like, <laughs> and he would have to fight the Grinch to make sure he didn't steal the stuff off the stage. Over there, and of course, no, no, it won't take long. I, I, I know I would want to walk across too. That's what I'm saying. If you were walk, I know I would want to walk across, but you can't walk. I only know one person in history that walked or walked. Anyway, listen. So we got to take the shuttles. The sh uh, Josiah got up there, he danced a little bit. Yeah. Get it, Joe. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, oh, oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You better get it. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Double point, double point, double point. Hold it, hold the point. <laughs> and so we were walking around the ship, and they would say, Hey, you're the kid from the, from on TV. Because people can, you can watch the shows that happened in the theater on your stateroom TVs. So we would be on the elevator and be like, hey, you were on my TV. And then they would play reruns of it throughout the cruise. So sometimes we'll sit in the room and be like, Josiah's on TV. 
when he got up there as a participant, he got a snorkel. I got like a, a, a big thing of like candy. He got some candy from Cherry on top. And he got a Build-A-Bear certificate. So mommy didn't have to pay for Build-A-Bear. Yes. I would have, but I put that money towards some drinks. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was so, so much fun. And every time on the ship, every time Dr. E saw Josiah, he acknowledged him. And to this day, Josiah talks about Dr. E as though he's a good family friend. <laughs> and he probably may not remember us because he's, I'm not going to say probably. I'm sure he doesn't remember us because only God knows how many cruises he's actually done, let alone been the cruise director of them. And then on each cruise, there are thousands of guests. So we, I say that to say that, you know, he made a great impression on my son and it made the experience so much better, which is one of the reasons why I love Carnival. to get back cruising again and we will also be documenting all of our trips all things travel um pretty soon we will be going to texas we have family in texas i will be documenting um my travels down there and then any road trips and different things we go we're just going to we are going to document it all if you are interested in seeing what we're about where we're traveling to and everything then please subscribe like put the notification bell on and look out for other videos thank you for joining us we will have some content uh soon we're going to try to figure out everything and we just i mean we appreciate you for even looking at this video